We are gathered here today to talk about a grave case involving a Taiwan-based book publisher going by the pen name Fucha. On Thursday last week, he reportedly traveled to Shanghai to visit relatives and has been uncontactable since then. It has sparked major concern in Taiwan and in East Asian academic and dissident circles, as his alleged detention has drawn comparisons to the disappearances of five Hong Kong booksellers back in 2015. Fucha, also known as Li Yanha, is the editor-in-chief of Gusa Publishing, a company known for publishing books that are critical of the Chinese Communist Party (CCP) or are politically sensitive. Li was born in China, but moved to Taiwan in 2009 where he established Gusa and obtained Taiwan citizenship. The Chinese government has yet to confirm any detainment of Li, while Taiwan's government has stated they were monitoring the situation and providing care and assistance to Li and his family. Li's alleged detainment has brought fear to many as it echoes previous pattern of crackdowns on dissenters, human rights groups, and critics which has intensified since the rule of Xi Jinping. Supporters of Li Yanha, including Gusa Publishing, Pan America, and dozens of writers, academics, and activists have all voiced concerns for his safety and called for his immediate release. On Saturday, a joint statement from these supporters believes Li has not committed any crime in utilizing the freedoms of expression of their publications. They have also criticized the lack of communication between Li and his family and legal representatives. This case is a stark reminder of the ongoing struggle for press and media freedom not only for mainland China, but for other countries in East Asia. It is also an important warning to other publishers wishing to disseminate works in the same vein as a means to avoid the same fate. It is our responsibility to bring attention to this issue, to help protect freedom of speech and publication, and push for the release of Li and all unjustly imprisoned media workers.